Hey, Facebook friends and YouTube. All right, I'm going to make a video now about renouncing curses. In the name of Jesus, I command any curse against me, my family, or anyone watching this to be broken right now. In the name of Jesus, I command any chains to be broken, any assignments from Satan and demons. God, I pray for divine protection, divine health, supernatural divine health for anyone watching this, for me, my husband, my two girls, their grandparents, all four of them, my brother and his fiance, my husband's sister and her husband. God, I pray for supernatural divine health. God, I pray that you will protect us all in the name of Jesus, God, and that Satan will not prevail, God. We are struck down but not destroyed. Amen. Praise God. Satan might be trying to mess with people. He might be trying to mess with me and my family. My three-year-old just went to the ER three days ago, but you're not going to stop me, Satan. You're not going to stop me. You're trying to scare me. You're trying to get me to stop making these videos and trying to destroy my faith and get me mad at God. That's what you're trying to do. I don't know why God's allowing it, but hey, you know what? It's not like Jesus had, had it easy and the disciples didn't have it easy. And I think that even though God let you mess with me and my family, Satan, he's not letting you mess with us as much as you might want to. Like, yeah, my daughter's pinky got a little bit broken, but she's still alive. So God didn't let you take her from me. Praise God. She's still here. Okay. So you think that you can have power over me and my family? Like you can't, like you can have a little bit of power, but you're a dog on a chain full. Okay. And I'm talking to you, Satan. And I'm talking to all you Satanists that are out there that are trying the cyberbullying stuff, trying to pick on people. It is not cool. Okay. You're just a dog on a chain. That's it. You are on a chain. God has you on a chain. You can only go so far. You can only hurt people so much, but you cannot take their life in Jesus name. You cannot, you cannot kill them. You might think you might try and scare people. You might try and put that spirit of fear on people, but in the name of Jesus, you cannot, you cannot kill people. Okay. That are God's children. Okay. And you know what? It's coming back to you. Okay. You reap what you sow. Karma is true. You are not, mm -mm. Mm -mm. You can't be doing all that. You can't be putting curses on people and think that stuff isn't going to happen to you. Uh-uh. I'm telling you. Here's my black side. You cannot do that, okay? You cannot. Just like you can't go speeding down the freeway and expect to not get a speeding ticket, okay? You can't de defy the laws of God that you need to love other people as you love yourself and love God. You can't defy that law of the un of the universe of God's law. You can't defy that law and expect to have a good life, okay? Maybe you're like living high on the hog right now and maybe you got some mansion. Maybe you got like the high life going on, but just wait. Just wait. You're going to suffer too. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you are going to get in a car accident or something bad is going to happen to you and you're going to be like, "Whoa. Maybe I shouldn't have messed with those Christian people." That's what's going to happen. So you better stop. Whoever you are, we got some cyber bully that's messing with us, locking up our phones, freezing our phones, doing all kinds of random stuff. Some weird car was parked in front of our house the other day. I think they were just trying to scare us. <sighs> some stupid Mercedes. Nothing happened. Nobody broke into our house. They're just trying to make us afraid, whoever they are, the Masons or whatever, Satanist people. Anyways, in the name of Jesus... You can't go farther than God allows you to go. You're just a dog on a chain, okay? So hear that and know that. You are only a dog on a chain. And if you don't want to be a dog anymore, turn to Jesus, okay? It's time for you to get Christian. It's time for you to follow God and to stop following Satan because he is less, okay? You might think that Satan is God. No. No, he is only doing as much as God allows him to do. So if you want to be on the winning team, you need to come on God's team, okay? You need to come on Jesus' team. Praise God, because I'm on the winning team. You, you're just a dog on a chain. That's all you are. Like, you can bark at people. You can try and scare them. But you can't go that far. You think you're free? No. No, you're not free. You're on a chain, okay? Satan puts everybody on a chain. You think that you're free? There was this, uh testimony about this guy who was literally a vampire and he said when he was a vampire he couldn't eat he had to just like drink wine or something and eat like little wafers for like communion and he was like that just goes to show how bad of a master satan is because satan doesn't let you enjoy things he might think he lies to you he tells you oh you're gonna get this this and that no he doesn't care about you satan doesn't care about you i don't know whoever you are if you're watching this, if you're like a Satanist, because I know you're watching this, and I know you watch us through our little phones, and I'm not crazy. That is not a conspiracy theory. Somebody, if you're watching this, somebody watches us through our, these little camera things on our phone. 
So I recommend that you cover them up when you're not making a video like this. <sighs> Anyways, God help them. But we're supposed to pray for enemies. So I'm just going to pray for all y'all. Dear God, I pray for anybody who wants to spy on people and mess with people and cause fear and try and split up marriages, split up families, get people fired from work, try and kill small children by having them fall off their bike, by giving them satanic curses. In the name of Jesus, God, I pray that you will save these people, God. I pray that you will turn their hearts toward you. Because <laughs> it's so sad and I'm so tired of it. And it's not going to stop me, so you might as well stop trying. You're not going to stop me, okay? No matter what, I'm going to become a teacher eventually. I don't care if I become a teacher next year. Maybe the next year. But you're not going to stop me. You're not going to take away my faith. You're not going to break up our family. You're not going to make us lose our house. And you're not going to get my husband fired. So you better stop. It's not going to work, okay? So stop. <sighs> Whoever you are. I hope you're not the government. I don't think you are. I think you're just some random offshoot, satanic, cult-worshipping, Masonic group. And you need to stop. You need to stop picking on Christians. And you know what? You Masons, you're not even alive anymore. You guys are, like, dying out. I saw it on Facebook, Facebook groups. There's only, like, two Mason Facebook groups, and they happen to be here in Texas. Thanks, Texas, for still having Masons. Makes me want to get out of Texas, but whatever. The only surviving Masons still are here in Texas, it looks like, according to Facebook. Because there's no other, like, state that says... California Masons or whatever. There's just Texan Masons. But I'm telling you, they are like the main bad guys. I mean, obviously there's like the Satanic Church. But the Masons, you know, cover it up with acting like they're philanthropists, but they're not. Anyways, if you guys want some backup info on that, look up Carly Noel Franz. <laughs> Carly Franz on YouTube. She tells some really interesting testimonies about what happened to her when she was a little kid. And the scary thing is that these people have power because the Masons are usually made up the, of the richest people. Like, Bill Gates is probably a Mason. And anybody else, I mean, the leader of Amazon is probably a Mason, which is a good reason why for me to stop. Like, I haven't ordered on Amazon in like two months. Praise God. And I'm not going to. And anyways, I was addicted to Amazon for a while. But that's probably another, like, tool of Satan and the Masons. And they're trying to, like, break up families and get all these... Stay-at-home moms who are bored to order all this stuff and spend money and put their family, you know, in stress. So, watch out for Amazon. Watch out for any of these overly rich people. And I don't know about the prosperity gospel. Like, you know, the Bible says that God will meet all our needs. But when it comes to, like, rich, rich, I think, like, the richest people are probably all Satanists. For whatever reason, you know, these people sell their soul to Satan so that they can get rich. And it's real. Like, that really happens. And that's what happens, like, in rock and roll, you know. All the stars, you know, at some point Satan comes to them and is like, if you want fame and popularity and money and success, sell your soul to me and I'll give it to you. And they do. Like that one song, Taylor Swift, Look What You Made Me Do. That's what it's, that's what that song is about. Like she sold her soul to Satan. Like you hear that song, you're like, what did she do? <laughs> like she says, look what, look what you made me do. And that's what, that's what it was. She sold her soul to Satan because she got that guy Jay-Z or whatever got under her skin. But before that, she seemed Christian. I don't know. Maybe she was raised Christian. But like her song, Shake It Off, is like a real inspiration for stuff like this, like cyberbullying. You just got to shake it off, you know? And she was shaking it off until whatever. And then now she's all bad. But anyways, you just got to not let that stuff get to you. That's why that verse is so key. Guard your heart above all else. For it, From it flows the issues of life or something. Like you can't let your heart be open. You can't wear your heart on your sleeve. You got to be tough. You got to protect your heart. You can't let people in. Like, yeah, you threw a pretty big curveball at me, Satan, whoever you are, putting these curses on my family, getting my three-year-old to get her pinky finger slightly broken. But hey, she's not dead. She didn't break her arm. She just broke her finger. Not that I'm challenging you, but I'm just saying, like, you know, you're trying, but you're just a dog on a chain. I'm telling you, you are a dog on a chain. You can only do as much as God allows you to do. And I believe that and I know it. And I know that God lets us go through stuff. And I think it's just to make us closer to other people who go through stuff. So, and I know that God's going to heal her finger. I'm praying for her all the time. Praise God. But you're going down, Masons. May God bless you all. Have a great day.